Hello again. I want to think a little about what actually caused all that trouble in Liverpool the other day. It is really very simple. Schoolgirls have been pestered by men of Middle Eastern appearance as they were on their way home in school uniform. This had become so common that some of the girls filmed one of these characters with the intention of showing him, showing him up and perhaps discouraging this behaviour of mothers in the future. I give a link in a previous video uh, to the clip of film which showed this happening. I think most people have seen it by now. And in the thumbnail to this video, I show the scene with a 25-year-old man and a 15-year-old girl whom he had accosted. Does that child look like somebody the average grown man should be propositioning in the street? The matter was reported to the police in the correct fashion, and the man was arrested. Here is what the Chief Constable of Liverpool, Serena Kennedy, had to say about this incident, and I give a link to a news item in the description to this video in which her words are to be found. Detectives are investigating reports of an incident which occurred in Kirkby on Monday the 6th of February when a man made inappropriate advances towards a teenage girl. This was reported by members of the public to police, but no victim was initially identified. Following inquiries, a man in his 20s was arrested on Thursday, 9th of February, in another part of the country on suspicion of a public order offence. A file was submitted to the CPS, and on their advice, he was released with no further action. No further action. And that was on Thursday the 9th of February. It was the following day, Friday the 10th, when news of this spread. And that's when the trouble began at the hotel where many of the men who had been making a nuisance of themselves live. Would this have happened if the police had charged somebody and taken the business seriously? I wonder... There is a problem in society when people feel that they cannot depend upon the police to look after their interests. If their house is broken into and the police don't attend, it makes people think about taking the law into their own hands. Here's an anecdote from almost 25 years ago. I was at work when my wife took our daughter, who was then six, into a little play park near our house. After a while, she became aware of a man standing nearby who was exposing himself and beginning to masturbate. She shouted at him and then ran towards him, swearing loudly and violently, whereupon he fled. She took our daughter home and called the police. The officer to whom she spoke said that he wasn't even sure if this was a criminal offence. He then said, even if we find him, it'll be your word against his. I arrived home five minutes later, and when I learned about the whole business and my wife had described the man in some detail, I wonder if viewers can guess what course of action I adopted. Do they think that I, A, said, well, this is a proper business of the police and we will leave it in their hands after reporting it in the correct fashion? Or do they think that I, B, took a claw hammer out of the toolbox under the sink and then went wandering around the district hunting for the man who had behaved in that way. This is the dreadful danger when the police do not keep the streets safe for people's wives and children. Some folk will take action if they think this is the only way that anything will be done. I do not say this is a good thing, it is not, but I do say that it is inevitable. It is the business of the police to maintain safety and security for ordinary citizens so that they do not feel called upon to take action themselves. Nobody wants to see the streets of Britain end up like a frontier town in the Wild West, but if the police don't pull themselves together and start taking our side, then that is what is likely to happen. Burglaries do not result in a police officer attending the scene. 
the vast majority of rapes go unpunished. Crime, especially unsolved crime, is on the increase. If we're not to see further disorder of the kind seen on Friday, then the police really need to take a long hard look at themselves and see where they may be going wrong.